So this is Hogback Mountain. We are on route seven or nine, nine. <laughs> we're on route nine in Vermont. So we're continuing our journey south. Uh, today we're showing a little bit of Vermont, um, just kind of roadside Vermont, not really stopping and, and looking much at anything because I kind of want to get down south. But this is this stop on route nine uh, in Vermont. Uh, this is a really great place. Uh, this is just kind of a random stop. Uh, I'm on my way down south and uh, taking the scenic route to get there and came upon this location and uh, wow, what a view. Um, it's really nice today too. It feels like it's in the 60s right now. Uh, so it's it's warm, but the wind, man, the wind just, it just feels, feels great. The, you get some amazing views of Holyoke Range, Shelburne Mountain, uh, Mount Monadnock, uh, New Hampshire, Massachusetts. Uh, and I'm recording from inside the car right now. I'm recording the audio in the car because it, it seems like everyone, except for these people at this picnic table, uh, were wearing masks outside. So I just wanted to be respectful and it's kind of windy outside. So there's not really great audio. So I just figured I'd grab the audio in here and then I'll just, you know, just add the footage from outside so you guys can get a better view of these hills and of the gift shop up here, uh, the country store at Hogback Mountain. of interesting things about this location here so if you were here about half a million years ago during the pre-cambrian period if i'm remembering correctly off of that obelisk right over there uh, if you were here about a half a million years ago during the pre-cambrian period then this would have been a tropical location right on the equator and we would have been able to see what would then become Africa from here uh, as well. We would have been, maybe not see it directly with the eyes, but you know, from a pterodactyl's point of view, uh, this would have touched up against Africa in what was then known as the supercontinent of Pangaea. So interesting, interesting place. Really, really cool stop. Uh, if I had planned a little bit more for this i probably would have put one of my own stickers onto this rail full of these stickers that you see here uh, i thought that was really cool that there are stickers from everywhere but alas i did not have any with me because i was not planning on doing something like this but lesson learned i'll have to have that for the next time so that i can vandalize just like all the other cool kids well well that's going to do it for this video if you like the video please give it a thumbs up uh we're Again, journeying through Vermont on our way to head home uh, to where my family lives uh, in North Carolina and Tennessee and to spend a few days, uh, a week or so there and checking out some cool things. So I hope you like this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications. New videos post every Tuesday and Thursday. Join us next time when we answer the question, where will the journey take us?